Hey, what's up? It's Jay. Check it out. So I've been using the iPhone 13 mini for about a week now. And here are my thoughts. I'm gonna just straight talk it. No crazy camera tricks, nothing like that. I just wanna let you know what I thought. So let's get started. So coming from the iPhone 12 Pro Max, it's definitely a lot smaller, like I said before in a previous video, I'll link it down below the description. It's what I thought, you know, from coming from an old iPhone 4 back way back when, it's pretty much how I remembered it. It's really small, really easy to touch, um, tap everything, just go through. That's probably the biggest pro of this uh, smaller iPhone, um, you know, not having to work, you know, swipe down like with two fingers or so it's like, you know, do these finger gymnastics to kind of move it down. And, you know, that's kind of the other thing with Apple, they really haven't um, redesigned the OS to kind of match with bigger phones. So, you know, the 12, the 13, the 13 Pro, 13 Max, it's, they really just stretch it. Um, really the iPad's kind of the only device where they've changed the layout a little bit to kind of match things, but yeah. So I think in the future, I hope they make continue making the minis so that, um, you know, people can buy them. I think it's actually the good size. Um, you could still watch content. It's There's no problem watching content on it, honestly. So yeah, you can see here that the video content is a little small, but it's watchable, not a problem. Um, definitely for short spins. And I think that's a good thing because this forces me to use my TV, use my iPad, use bigger devices. Whereas using my 12 Pro Max, I would literally just use that instead of anything else, which is kind of a good thing for me. But I don't know about you, but let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about that. And speaking of video, the sound actually on this device is very good. Um, if you thought that because it's a smaller device, it's the sound's going to suffer, think again, it's not. It's actually just as good as my 12 Pro Max, um, which I'm using to film, by the way again and yeah i mean i didn't have any problems with it personally i don't actually use a whole lot of um external audio like this to watch videos like this i mainly use my airpods or you know watch my tv if i can now the next thing i think you guys wanted to know was the battery the battery is absolutely fine it's not amazing it's not gonna you know win any awards it's not the best of course but it gets me through the day, no problem. Um, you know, you just gotta watch what you're using it for. So, if, you know, maybe if you don't take a lot of videos, uh, you don't watch a lot of videos, you mainly use it for social media, you'll be fine. I think that if you're gonna use it for a long day, taking a lot of pictures, video, gaming, especially, uh, I think that'll kill the battery. So you probably want to have like an extra battery with you or something like that. But I think that if you're not gaming on this, which you really shouldn't be, it's such a small phone. It really doesn't, you know, work that well. You can play some games, maybe, maybe not like, you know, a game like Genshin Impact. I wouldn't recommend playing Genshin Impact on this. It's really too small, honestly. But yeah, I think it's fine for most days. I think, you know, now some of you guys may uh, wonder about the face ID. Um, you, you see that it is a little bit smaller, um, I guess lengthwise this way, left and right, but up in uh, north and south, it's uh, a little bit thicker. Um, honestly, I didn't really notice a, a huge difference like after using it. At first, yeah, I noticed oh, it's a little bit different, but I mean, it really is, it looks like a notch. It feels like a notch and it is a notch. So it's one of those type of uh, deals there. So yeah, one of the other things I wanted to point out about the smaller form factor is that the widgets are actually like formed properly, if that makes sense. Like, like they feel like they're the right size in the, in the sense that they are really easy to get to versus like a bigger phone or even on the iPad where like some of the widget sizes are not even the right, like, you know, they're not even resized properly. So like something like this, it's like a real nice way to get to everything. I can literally just get to everything with one hand. I can type with one hand, no problem, you know? Like, it's it's really easy. I mean, you see how I had to do this a little bit, stretch a little bit to get to, you know, diagonally, but I mean, that's kind of 
generally that's gonna be a thing regardless but for a bigger phone i can't even do that i can't even reach over like this there's no way so we talked about the battery we talked about how the phone is with the display it gets really bright outside no problems honestly it's pretty much just like the 12 pro max in terms of um, how i see i can't really tell the difference to be quite frank but now let's talk about the camera in the back so we get the main camera again which is the same one from the 12 pro max last year which was exclusive to that one and then we had an ultra wide so now again with that it's it get, it's good there's no problems with it it's pretty much the same as last year in terms of the sensor now you might be wondering because the 12 pro max it had the main sensor here now it's on the 13 mini but there's no lidar sensor now what is that going to do with you know I guess night shots or um, auto auto focusing. I haven't seen any problems with it. Um, taking some pictures with this thing, so or focus problems with the video. So I think you'll be okay. Um, I think the lighter stuff is really just um, an extra step to get it faster. Um, but in my testing and using the 12 Pro Max for so long, I haven't really noticed a difference, quite frankly. And being that being the case, that means that you know is the what's the lighter sensor really doing but yeah, i digress with that being said though i won't be using the uh, 13 mini um for the next year at least i will be returning this device because um for me i already have the 12 pro max so it doesn't make sense for me to upgrade right now i would probably upgrade it in the next year or so um, but this is the phone i will be getting um if Apple doesn't come out with the 14 mini, for example, then I will still get the 13 mini. It's that good, I think. It's the right size for me. And um, yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider liking and subscribing to this channel. You guys want to see more content like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.